Toward the beginning of most of our worship services uh, together at Second Presbyterian Church, you will hear one of the ministers say, Children of God, welcome home. Now we know that God does not reside in a particular place and that we can experience God in many different places. But there is something about this place that is important to so many of us about being together in the sanctuary in other spaces in this church for worship we look forward to that opportunity just a week from now uh, when we will return to uh, in-person worship in the sanctuary and uh, in-person worship in the gym and i would like for uh, some of our staff to to share some details about that and to uh, uh, share some information with you about uh, what that will look like. I'd like to share with you some details about how we're coming inside for worship uh, on October 4th. Our morning prayer service that we've enjoyed outside at 9 o'clock will be coming inside to the Great Hall. We will be able to space out in there a good deal and we'll provide chairs for you so uh, you don't have to bring your chairs for that service. At 11 o'clock we'll be in the sanctuary and we have limited seating and we'll talk about reservations in a moment. But we'll come through door three, which is the portico door, uh, the door that has the overhang and the uh, handicapped entrance, uh, and uh, that will be our main entrance for that service. Of course, our live stream continues at 11 o'clock. It'll be available uh, live, of course, and then, of course, afterward, uh, if you feel you can't make it in for in-person worship. All of this information is included in the link that is in the seconds to go email, uh, and also has been uh, on our website. So if you will access those points, you'll be able to have all the information you need. Letters have been sent out to those who perhaps we don't have an email for. Registration will be required for both services, um, mainly so that we know who is coming inside for worship so that we can follow the CDC guidelines for contact tracing if that is needed. Um, at 11 o'clock, in addition, uh, we will be able to know exactly where to place different groups of twos or three or six uh, if you happen to come as a family. Easy registration is available for a, from a link that will be sent out on Monday morning at 9 o'clock. Uh, it will be sent out to uh, all those who have emails, of course, and um, you can access, access the link. It's a short uh, form and it will need to be done each week. Um, if you are not able to do that, of course, you can call into the office beginning at 9 o'clock on Monday. We ask that you not just email your reservation because we want to keep up with everybody's requests. Uh, for the in-person worship experiences, we will be checking temperatures as you come in the door, uh, and uh, that's just a, a, obviously a part of what we do when we come inside the church. Um, and of course, um, we will need to ask that all masks are required for all folks inside the building at all times. We look forward to seeing you in worship, and um, we thought we'd have a, another word from our pastor uh, about uh, some of the things to consider before you come. We're excited to be back together in worship but we recognize that not everyone feels comfortable. So we want to remind folks that if you are immunocompromised in any way, or if your doctor has asked you to stay home, that you stay home. We recognize the tension of the space in which we find ourselves. Uh, this is not the first time in history that the church has had to deal with a pandemic. In fact, the church has lived through multiple global pandemics and continues to be faithful. And we live into that tension. While we want to love one another, for some, loving you means reminding you to stay home. And for some of you, loving you means welcoming you back into the building. And we take that tension seriously. And we've done everything we can to make sure that it is as safe of an environment as possible. But we want all of God's children to feel safe. And so whatever that means for you, we invite you to do that. But we look forward to seeing those who will be with us on October 4th. And for those who won't, we look forward to seeing you on Zoom calls and uh, on our live stream. While we have had a wonderful start with Wednesdays together, our children have been uh, going outside and doing activities and lessons. We did not feel that that was a safe um, alternative for Sunday mornings. There will be no child care offered on Sunday mornings when we are back in the building. However, we will have busy bags, if you will, for children who 
decide to come to worship with their family and sit with their family. We are having uh, family movie nights each month, and Sunday school will be based off of these movie nights. So if families would like to come to those movie nights, um, the first one is Moana, and then we will have uh, four weeks of Sunday school based on those faith lessons within that movie. Uh, we invite everyone uh, to those, and there will be uh, videos sent out each Sunday pertaining to those movies. So please come and join our community once again. We have missed being together. And one of the ways that we have been together this season is through Sunday School. Sunday School continues for adults in many different spaces, and you can find more information um, in Seconds to Go about those classes. And for youth classes, youth Sunday School classes, look for um, information in our 2PY newsletter each Friday. We look forward to being back in the building with you soon. We look forward to this opportunity to worship together physically. It's not the only way we can worship as we have learned during these last months, but it is an important part of what it means to be the people of God, and we are excited about it. Even with all of the precautions and uh, uh, restrictions that we have to abide by, I wanna remind you that uh, reservations or registration for worship both at 9 and 11 uh, it must happen for you to be able to be present in one of those services we began reservations uh, at uh, on Mondays and we conclude reservations on Thursday afternoon by 430 so between Monday and Thursday is your window uh, for making reservations for worship we are grateful uh, for this church, for its ministry, uh, and for you uh, as the people of God. We look forward to seeing you one way or another on October the 4th. 